Today, obviously, there's issues ongoing with those that wanting to fly. That's between Jet 2 and the individual passengers. I understand that you're obviously here. You want to make a demonstration regarding whatever cause you want to represent. There is not an issue with that. However, what I would ask is that it's not done within this terminal building, just because it affects other members of the public going through. So what I'm suggesting is outside, literally, that's some 50 yards, and I'll, I'll come with you and direct you to it. You can make a demonstration there, you'll be in full visibility, so that it's not as though you, you're hidden away or anything like that. You can carry on any demonstration that you've got there. I'll just ask that you don't obstruct any highways or obstruct anybody that's trying to enter the airport. Purpose. Is that okay? No, we're going to wait for our friend. Okay. Right, let's have a photo. So just put your signs up. Just put your signs up, please. Just put your signs up. 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 Just put acting as an auxiliary of the Israeli occupation, but we said first of all as a gesture of good faith from Jet2, we want our fare refunded in full. Okay, It's not the only issue, it's an issue. They are going to refund our fares in full. Okay, And that's, and that's, because, and that's because you're here and they're very, very worried. Okay, The next issue is we want to find out from them precisely why they say they have they claim they have no choice okay what exactly did the 
What exactly did the Israelis say to them that supposedly gives them no choice? We heard in Haaretz yesterday that the Israeli Minister of the Interior, a serious thug, has threatened sanctions, unspecified sanctions and fines on the airlines. So we now want to find out who will tell us what the thank the sanctions and fines threatened were. But it's a small victory so far yeah. and we'll get a bigger victory. Thank you. And can I just say that as far as I'm concerned, uh, Jet 2, as well as the fare, also owes me my travel from York, which was bought months ago, and they also owe me my overnight accommodation in a hotel near here. So they owe me a hundred or so pounds on top of my fare. Those necessary expenses were, in, were, were incurred as a, as a direct consequence of Jet 2 kowtowing to the Israeli security forces. We are peaceful people. I was at this very airport in, in January of last year, travelling with this very company, but because I lied and said I was going to visit Israel, there was no problem at all. I'm the same person who caused no trouble in Israel in January and, and, uh, and, and December of uh, January of this year and December of last year, but now I am banned because I want to go to Palestine. And that's what they're doing. What effectively is happening here is that the Israelis have implemented an Israeli checkpoint here in Manchester Airport. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's also the case that we are being discriminated on because I'm one of the passengers that tried to get on this flight openly. What's the difference between me and anybody else going on that flight? Is of course I'm being banned because of my beliefs. I'm being discriminated on, not because I'm a security threat, but because I hold political beliefs in support of Palestinians. And that is why they're banning me. That is why they're returning my money. And Jet 2 Com is willing to subscribe to those discriminatory laws which are illegal in this country. So they are subscribed. And that is something that is something that Manchester Airport is like is also party to. They're party to discriminatory actions which are illegal in this country and we want to need to get jet to come and anybody any airline that accepts israeli law racist imperialist law out of this airport <laughs> we don't want complicit companies in our airport yeah. Yeah. absolutely yeah. 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 Can, I, can i just say thanks to everybody here coming then what has happened is that at least they're not letting us on the flight. They're saying the Israelis are refusing to let them fly us, but they are going to refund us. And they're at the moment drafting individual letters telling us that we are going to be refunded. So, so we're staying here until each of us that have paid are getting letters. But this is a big, you know, it's a very marginal victory, but it's thanks to you all coming uh, to support us that that's happening. And they wouldn't acknowledge anything. The letter that they give us initially said we are a non-refundable um, air airline. So, sorry, and we hope we've not caused you any inconvenience. <laughs> well, it caused us not just inconvenience, they've caused us massive distress yeah. because we think that Palestine should be free yes. and we're not allowed to go to Palestine, they're not allowed to receive visitors so we've not succeeded in that but we'll come again and again and again until we get into Palestine me, is, This has happened all over the world apparently now, that everybody's been stopped at airports, no. stopped getting yeah. in it's an absolute blatant flag yeah flagrancy of human but rights all, and I suggest that we have from here that a way forward which you probably already do uh, is uh, that an international conference should take place to consider what move now that now that the political situation has changed with what's, this what's event. Been, what's mm. been happening is that they've, we've been meeting internationally all along yeah. and uh, but there are people in the air from Switzerland from uh, 
from France, from Germany. So there will be people getting to Tel Aviv. Now, they've got 900 police waiting for them at Tel Aviv. They've also got Palestinians waiting in with a coach to take people peacefully to Bethlehem. So, and there'll be Jewish supporters from Israeli Jewish supporters there as well who are probably being spat upon and so on in Israel for supporting our right to go. So the action is still going on. The fact that a few of us have failed to go through doesn't mean that what we've done isn't successful. It's a fantastic initiative and we hear a testament to that and we've got a little victory and we can make those victories bigger and bigger and there's still things to be done for the rest of the world. Uh, Norma. Oh, they've gone through. They've gone through.